Hi, how are you? Hello. Toodaloo, I think. So, and I haven't done a video in a while, but I wanted to do one. I just got this guy. This is the reissue or the Encore Big Convoy. They haven't changed anything on the mold. They just gave it a rework on the paint. It just looks pretty cool. I never had the figure. I only have Magma Comp, Magmatron? Yeah, Magmatron. Yeah. Let's take a look at the toy. And here is Mammoth. So, shell former, just right off the bat. He's all shells. Robot. Um, he does have a couple tricks up in, up in that shell. Um, one of them is this, where you get to pull back the ears. You get to pull back the trunk. And the other one, I don't really want to show you, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it, but I won't show how to get to it. And here he is in Mammoth tank destruction mode, which is you're basically, you're just reversing the weapon and putting it in the front, which is still pretty cool. I, I like these kinds of modes. Again, shell former, just shell, but it's fine. He's cute, he's really cute. And then you can deploy even more weapons. So you can deploy these. There you go. So pretty, pretty boss attack. You can see the guts of the robot. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, let me get him back to normal and we'll do some size comparisons. So we're back to his little, his mammoth mode. Um, I really like the mode, honestly. It's just simple. There's a lot of rubbery parts though, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Size comparisons, real quick. Here he is next to Siege Voyager Prime. He's much bigger. I don't know if he was classified as a leader. I think he was classified as a leader. That box was massive. So yeah. Pretty big stuff, which I like to think mammoths are that much bigger than Cybertronian semis. Oh, I forgot to bring out the little covers. Or no, never mind. He's good. Yeah, pretty cool figure. Let me show you robot mode. So here he is in robot mode. I didn't show the transformation because I'm a very slow guy when it comes to transforming my figures. So this probably would have been an hour video. Um, he looks amazing. The paint on him is great. He's very poseable. He just looks so cool. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. He just looks awesome. So there's the head. Beautiful little noggin. Um, the chest with all the blues and reds and the clear red plastic. Uh, one arm is red, yellow. All that fun stuff right there. No wrist articulation. Just that. Um, the other one is just a gray plastic, red, yellow, uh, yellow plastic, cool stuff. The white is very nice too, though. It's not just white plastic, it's actually white paint. So it makes it pop. You got white paint there. That's like a weird blue plastic. Blue there, blue plastic, yellow, of course, the kibble. So, uh, <laughs> Mammoth in the Room. He is all kibble. He, the reason why he's posable and I think he looks great is because there is no transformation to him. He is all kibble. And because I have the gun positioned that way, he is back heavy. Now you can remove it. Just like that. Pretty simple. And then his back looks like that. Just kinda... I positioned the kibble to where it's out of the way from the robot. But, you know, still kibble bits. And then you have this massive cannon.
and you have the handle right there. So I, I think that looks awesome. It's just a giant cannon. I'll show it to you in a sec. But just wanted to get a close up of the figure right there. He looks awesome. Yeah. Let me get the matrix real quick. There you go. Ah, sorry. The matrix looks great too. It's just chrome gold. If I can get it out. Yeah. Really nice pegs in right there. I like it when primes come come with the matrix. I haven't seen that too often. So posability on the guy is great. Um, he does have a couple gimmicks. So you can do put these forward. I had them facing back so that'd be less intrusive. Missiles. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way again. <laughs> There we go. So you have the missiles that can launch. And you have the cannon. B. F. G. So those are projectile weapons right there. He looks pretty cool. And then you have this other weapon, which is like a little beating stick. Just kind of. There you go, so you can beat people with it. Yeah. So overall, I think he's great. Um, when it comes to this mode by himself, uh, I don't know how you display your figures. I'm gonna keep him in a prime shelf, so he's gonna go next to other primes. I don't have them all out, but I can show you next to Siege Prime, and then I'll show you next to Magna Boss if you wanna keep it with Beast Wars too. So, give me a sec. Here he is next to Siege, Voyager, Prime. Yeah, he's ultra class, I guess you can classify him as. Bigger than a Voyager, but, I don't know, not a leader. I mean, he could definitely be the new standard of leader. Um, he's, Ultra Magnus probably gets to a round right here. Um, dang it. So yeah, these right here, because they're on ball pegs and I just fired aren't the most secure, which kind of sucks, because other than that, he's pretty, every joint is tight, except the one that really matters the most, which is this joint right here. He can hold up his gun just fine, but that joint, which is a bummer, but it's a ball joint, so it's kind of to be expected from ball joints. That's why ball joints suck. Um, he reads next to the big bad, the Megatron, And they're roughly the same size. He doesn't hold up well. <laughs> At all. Cool stuff, though. Looks pretty sick. It just does not hold up well. Um, yeah, so my final thoughts real quick on him. He's really cool. If you collect Primes, or if you collect the Beast Wars stuff, he's a must. I think, I think he's a must. I've been wanting to get the guy for a while, but and I was looking for a good deal on him. And I guess this is a pretty good deal. Brand new inbox, new paint. Uh, big convoy for 85 bucks. Still a lot, but better than what the original would go for in box. So yeah, guys. He's definitely like an 8 out of 10. Which, <laughs> he should be like a 10 out of 10 for an $85 figure. But for what he is... A toy from 1999, which says right here, where are you, 1999 guys, this figure's 20 years old, he holds up very well, considering he's older than most people may be watching this video, so, can't snap for shit, but yeah, good figure, if you're into primes, I do recommend him, Beast Wars stuff, I recommend him as well. Um, if your collection is really tight, he's not a must-have. But really cool, nonetheless. Bye.